All right. Let's try this again. Let's see if I can get this thing rolling a little bit better this time. Lepi's back. Josh is back. I think Mark was able, I read it the second I sent him a message. I think he read it. So he might just be kind of figuring it out. He told me he never, uh, never did the Instagram live. But it should be as simple as click my name. I think I'm a little circle at the top. I see you come in and I just go boom, invite. Bear with guys. Jackie's in. I have a feeling the whole Lynn family's hanging out looking at my muck. Is that what's going on? Rich. Rich is in. Keep it keep it PG thirteen, Rich, would ya? Rich gets a little wavy thingy. Rich, we're talking about horror movies. What's your favorite horror movie? Or a couple. If I know Rich, he's sitting in his house, feet up, pants off. I know it. Scary tats? Um, yes. Where to begin? Um, depends on your definition of scary, but we have a Captain Spaulding. He counts for sure. I'll lump in the, uh, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker for scary. But I mean, we got zombie hands, we got gimp masks, we have old universal horror movies, skulls everywhere. My late great buddy Russell, I made him a decapitated head, this big spider, the scary chick. I mean, I think it's, uh, I don't know, a good bit of them are scary. Even the spider, I guess. I got a coffin with devil wings. I got Skeletor on my back. So I'm still not seeing our guy here, man. I don't know what this is, uh, what's going on here. Evil Dead. Did you see the new Evil Dead? I didn't get to see, is it Evil Dead Rises? Evil Dead Rise, something like that? Uh, the last Evil Dead movie before that was awesome. Uh, they're all good. Um, that reminds me a little bit of like Cabin in the Woods. If you've ever seen Cabin in the Woods. Uh, if you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods, there he is. I'm shutting up. We're bringing in Mark. Hit, uh, join. Wrong turn is good, too. There we go. Okay, would you <laughs> shut up and bring me on? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mario, how's it going, man? Uh, uh, great, great. Good deal. Well, a little, little bit of technical difficulty, but uh, what are you supposed to do? It happens all the time, no matter what you do. I feel oh. like I run into something every week. Yeah. That's why you need to stop doing that and start oh. recording it. I, I just, I'm a sucker for the, the can, times. Well, if can, it's Instagram you, Live, I got to do it. Can you go live and play a video? I could do whatever we want. You got a video you want to play? There you go. <laughs> so uh, a bunch of people are pouring in now, and we had a cool little chat going about some horror movies uh, cool. inspired, of course, by... I don't know if you've ever heard of this one. It's called uh, Gacy. Never heard of it. It's not worth seeing. It's all right. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, but we, I was. people were talking about new horror versus old horror, and uh one of your uh movies leprechaun there's a guy here lucky leppy who's i'm gonna guess he's running the unofficial leprechaun fan club online uh, and yeah. Leppy laddie yeah, yeah exactly yeah so we were he was catching me up on some uh some leprechaun trivia yeah. for a minute there he should go but to I'm, yeah yeah and i'm a sucker for the new stuff man um you know hellraiser is an exception gacy's an exception uh but Man, some of these newer ones are just wild. I don't know if you're a horror fan at all, but some of the stuff coming out is really out there. Yeah. I, uh, the only thing that I, I have any link to, whatever, uh, is uh, the Terrifier crew. And yes. I just 
knocked it out of the ballpark and, and will continue to. And uh, the next thing that's uh, <clears throat> on the list is a film that I happen to have a role in called Stream, like streaming video. Nice. Um, and it's got a pretty, pretty good, good cast, a very good cast, actually. Um, and uh, that should be out this fall. Nice. I, uh, I got to meet uh, the Terrifier himself recently. He came to Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. And uh, I got lucky. I, as you know, I'm a con guy. And I got lucky. I walked in and he was just coming back from his break. So I was at this con for like 15 minutes. And 12 of those minutes were just talking to him. Cool. And I, and I got to find out. I just watched the, uh, the Saw scene from the Terrifier enough to try to figure out what the Saw was that he used. And I found an old one on... Uh, on eBay. So I actually like got it, bloodied it up, put the logo on it for the movie. I'm like, I don't want to bring you a picture. I want to bring something kind of memorable and cool. Yeah. And I guess one of someone who worked on the movie was his handler for the day. And he's like, that's exactly the song. I'm like, yes, I, I looked at that scene enough. It was an old snap on so, hacksaw from the eighties. And I found it for like 20 bucks. I was super excited. Yeah. What a deal. Yeah. That's worth what? Uh, let's not say. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna stay on my shelf and that's that yeah so um we're talking gacy but i mean uh peewee and, and team wolf i mean that's for me that's the go-to for uh mr holden honestly we watched i was telling these guys who were in here uh previously that peewee was just always on oh yeah always on tv uh team wolf was close but not as much as it really was like Back to the Future, Pee Wee, Jurassic Park, those three just constantly. So uh, I have to start there at least. I mean, what was your, what do you start? Like what questions do we even ask you about working on Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Um, oh, uh, yeah, pretty much anything you can imagine about the different scenes and uh, what so-and-so was like and uh, how did you do this and how did you do that? And um, it was, uh, uh, and I'm still seeing kids come to these conventions dressed as Pee Wee. And people are going, my grandpa was the one that, that showed it to us first, and here is my grandson. And I'm going, how many generations? You know, I'm going, wow, that's amazing. And uh, <clears throat> I think it would be safe to say that Pee Wee's Big Adventure is a bigger film now than when it came out. Oh, sure, yeah. Because um, Tim Burton, right? That was um, one of his first he'd ever done, and he had nowhere near the acclaim that he does now, obviously. But right. how was he to work with? Oh, he was great to work with. Um, I, you know, he he was he was fine. He was a good director. Um, I didn't know really much about him. I hadn't seen Frankenweenie. It was a short film, so uh, I had you know no um, preconceived. <clears throat> Uh, idea of what it would be like to work him with him, but uh, he and Paul and I just you know got out. We all had the same vision and and all the writers and everything. So it went uh, went like clockwork, which how is much rare. It was rare. How was it with Paul Rubens? It seems like from out here, third party us watching as kids that it was just the realest, funnest interactions because it was so like that scene on the corner, like. The, I don't make monkeys, I just train. Like that whole interaction didn't feel like it was acting. It just felt like two guys just going at it, you know, just, was it all scripted? Was there any improv at all? Uh, no, it was, it was actually um, very well written. I think uh, Paul probably had, uh, you know, the, the, um, the latitude to do that. Uh, I never, uh, it never really came out. I mean, it was in the script and it was just, it, it wasn't really needed. Um, yeah. You know, that's, that's, I'll leave that to Will Ferrell and those guys. I mean, I can do that. I've done a lot of improvisation, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't something to where you'd say, okay, just, uh, you know, at the end of the scene, just keep going, you know, because it had a definite ending. Right. You know, but you'll be sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's the, I had to use that shot for, for advertising for this interview. I mean, that really is yeah. that glare at the end and everything. Did I see that it was like your second role? Was that pretty early on? You know, it, it, it all gets mixed up in uh, when did I shoot it? When was it released? Uh, what came first, the chicken and the egg or whatever? 
Um, I don't think it was the, uh, the second thing I okay. had done, uh, but I did some, you know, stuff that uh, I don't even know if I'm credited for it. Uh, uh, one of them was called Hideous Sun Demon, which there was an original Hideous Sun Demon. They decided to make another one. I don't know if they ever released it or not. I mean, but I'm sure it was just a complete piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you know, it's the internet nowadays. If someone had a copy, it's out there somewhere. Maybe I should check it out, yeah. Yeah, there was a couple other people in there. Um, Googie Grice, I think, was in the movie. Um, but it was uh, it was just like a, you know, just hurry up and wait on nothing. Hmm. I mean, it, it, it was really a horrible introduction to filmmaking, Oof. to be quite honest, yeah. Um, and then you get TV mixed up with that stuff. So I don't, I don't know at, at what point um, I can tell tell you when it was released but i can't tell you when it was shot oh yeah. sure i mean it was pretty early on though yeah oh, right yeah, it was yeah. Pretty early on. i mean i um <clears throat> uh, teen wolf uh the character was you know it was just you know the funny fat kid that eats a sandwich and uh it, on, on paper it was pretty much nothing but it was you know it was god it was credit it was a, good, it was a chance to, to see people work and try to pick up on what the crew was doing. And it just, uh, the role just kind of evolved. I just, you know, took a, a, a just a basic uh, persona or whatever. And this was, this was the kid that was never going to be in the clique with the, uh, the in crowd. You know, he's, uh, right. uh, you know, and, and very few people were actually in the in crowd. So a lot of people, I think, identify with him uh, because he was uh, an underdog, an outsider <clears throat> that just happened to, uh, uh, you know, uh, succeed. I, I, I think that's it. And, and I'm, I'm com completely amazed at how many people um, in the UK, uh, Scotland, Ireland, England, uh, still watch that movie. And, and most of them... They couldn't get the movie at one point. They couldn't get uh, Teen Wolf 2 or Teen Wolf hmm. 1 without buying the set. Oh. That's the way it was, uh, was sold over there. So they know both the movies, whereas a lot of people here in the States, uh, you know, they, they watched the first five minutes of Teen Wolf 2 and said, eh. <laughs> <laughs> you <know? laughs> uh, what, do you have a favorite role? You know what I mean? Like those ones seem like... Or like a league of their own and Gacy, like those four, like in Leprechaun, are are one of those like a favorite, or do you even have uh, a favorite? League of, league of their own is 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 my favorite work. Uh, uh, you know, there's things happen along the way in a career. Um, I, I felt like I got uh, pigeonholed with uh, with Francis Buxton, um, uh. and I, I just uh, you know I finally got tired. I was just, you know, not very pleasant in auditions because they would say, no, what, what we're wanting is, you know, and I uh, just finally, I'd go, oh, you want me to play Francis Buxton? Buxton. Yeah, yeah. And I would go, no, <laughs> do that. Yeah, done. I had, you know, and at the time I had a, a very uh, nice sequel writer for, uh, you know, anything that came down the pipe uh, that was part two. And so, no, I wasn't going to just, you know, beat a dead horse. Uh, so, you know, when stuff came along like Gacy, roles like that, yeah. um, I thought, okay, here's, here's something with a little meat on the bone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Gacy was awesome like that, where uh, polar opposite of, if you know, um, running around a basketball court. <laughs> Just a little different. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe chasing people underneath the basketball court. Who knows? Yeah. So if you had to pick a favorite – Role would it be a League of Their Own then? Yes, it would be still well in, in a League of Their Own. Absolutely, I just uh, it was just a, a very nice little moment, and it um, you know it's one of those uh, moments that where you know I still have a lot of people say uh, you know at that at that point at the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame, you know that, that it it just continues to deliver for them uh, emotionally. Oh yeah, the whole movies. I agree. The whole movies like that. If that's it, easily one of those movies. Actually, a lot of your stuff is. If it comes on, you're what you're you're finishing it. You know, if I see a League of Their Own, League of Their Own on, I'm gonna watch it till the end. If I see Pee Wee on, I'm watching it till the end. If I walk into somewhere, I was actually at a bar in California, and it was 
a very small, dark speakeasy, jazz playing, and people were ordering cocktails, and they had three black and white TVs playing black and white versions of old movies, and PB was on. <laughs> and I was like, I've never seen anything <laughs> like this. It was like the red curtains and these big plush couches, and it was very chill and grown up, and they're playing Pee Wee. And there was no sound and no color. I'm like, is it intentional? And then I saw there was a handful of TVs just playing no audio, just old 90s movies in black and white. It was art, man. It was just art. Yeah, was very art. See. Yeah. Would you have a, a favorite scene? Let's go through some of those movies. If you have favorite scenes, do you, have a, you, know, do you remember anything in Pee Wee that you're like, this is my favorite scene that, that I've done in this movie? Um. Well, I, I think the opening scene uh, was the first thing we shot, and it just nailed down the character for me. Uh, the one on the corner, you mean? That that interaction there? Yeah, yeah. 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 Out, out, out in Pee Wee's yard with, with his bike, trying to buy his bike, because it was uh, my birthday. And uh, <clears throat> but I, pretty much everything I did was, uh, was fun, uh, even uh, at the end. I don't know if they ended up fudging at the end, but uh, they, they did take me out at night to a, uh, a drive-in theater yeah. and flew me through the air on a telescoping crane. And that scared the hell out of me. Uh, but, you know, after it was over with, uh, I mean, people were like little tiny ants underneath me. And, and stuff was coming out of my mouth. I didn't, words I didn't even know I knew. So let me get this right. The scene where yeah. you get launched across was you yeah. on a crane? Yeah. Well, I, it, I, they shot it. I don't know if they used it or not. Oh, yeah. They punched it with animation. Oh, I got you, got you. Okay, yeah. But, I was going to uh, say, they left the scene in for sure, but oh, my yeah. God. That, I hope that's. Hope they left you in. That's pretty great. I mean, when they cl uh, <clears throat> called action, I mean, my, my ass was 30 feet in the air in about a split second. You know, and I just kept going. And, and the horrible thing about the rigging on those is uh, there's a pressure point right in your family jewels. And when the uh, when the crane driver stops, you still <laughs> are going up, and then you come down and go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh man! Yeah, it was. You think they'd uh, maybe take care of that for the for our our friends with uh, family jewels? <laughs> well, it, it was it was more frightening than than any. No permanent damage was done. Sure, well, that's good. <laughs> How about Team Wolf? Do you have a favorite scene? Uh, personal favorite scene in Team Wolf? Um, I, yeah, the, the hook shot. Okay. I think was my favorite. Um, and, and the reason why it was my favorite uh, is because um, even, even though the camera wasn't on the goal, it just was on me, I thought, come here all <laughs> day long and part of tomorrow trying to make this stupid, you know, shot. Or at least, you know, what I, I figured would happen is, you know, I'd, I'd do a couple of takes and then they'd go over and have somebody throw it in that was throw it in that was a competent basketball player. Uh, but uh, damn if on the first take I didn't just swish that son of a bitch. Um, nice. You know, so when you see him, you know, kind of back up like, you know, what just happened? That was genuine. It was like, did that really happen? That was great. <laughs> Nice. Did you ever hear of, or maybe you could shed light on this, with the closing shot of Teen Wolf, where on older copies, the guy pulls his dick out in the stands? Did you ever hear of this or see it? I, I had not heard of that until maybe a year ago. Yeah. Um, and I watched it. Of course, I watched it on a, like an iPhone 10, and I, I never did see it. You know, so I had, I had a VHS. No, actually, I taped it from the TV when I was little. So it's a VHS recording of a channel. Uh -huh. And I think you'd probably find the image, the video somewhere. But if he's not, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Because you see him like kind of pulling it back in and looking to see if he gets caught. And he kind of pulls his shirt over. He's trying to zip up. I mean, it's not like it's you can identify any part of his anatomy. But if oh, but well. what's great is he did that, what I saw, and then newer versions, he just completely removed. So I'm like... I kind of think a guy pulled his dick out of the table. Poor guy. Yeah. You know, I hope he's not like ID'd. You know, people. Yeah, exactly. Know. If he's ID'd, I'm getting him on here. <laughs> I don't think he would come on, but 
But yeah. Might, you know, I mean, it's worth a shot. What the heck? Because who knows? It could have been anybody. You know, I doubt the entire crowd would have been, you know, credited. You know, I did some extra work. I'm not going to be in any credits. Yeah. I'm like, man, that guy, could anyone track him down? Is there some subreddit somewhere where someone's just like, who is this guy? And then one guy's on set. I think I remember him. And I doubt so, it very much. You know, but some, Somebody about that age should, should could and just get a table at a convention. See the guy from Team Wolf. <laughs> The just have that still of him just playing. yeah uh, are you uh enjoying doing the conventions oh i love i love doing conventions uh <clears throat> most of them almost all of them um uh, but uh this last one uh chiller i uh, you know i kept hearing you got to do chiller chiller this chiller that whatever and they were right i mean it was wonderful um and uh you know i hope it's just uh, an annual thing what was Chiller? Can you tell us more about it? Uh, it was in uh, Persephone, New Jersey. Uh, it's uh, called Chiller Theater. Uh, is the actual name of the, of the uh, convention. <clears throat> and it has its roots back to uh, people that lived in the, in the northeastern United States on Saturday night. They would have uh, this, the, the, this the monster you know, thing uh, in, the, in the, I guess, the 60s. I'd have heard it in Chiller Theater, and they, it would be like the wolf man. Frankenstein and, and uh, Dracula and, and the monster from the Black Lagoon. So it was just kind of a, you know, something people grew up with. So this guy, based on that, came up with this, um, with this thing. And he's been, and this is like the 33rd year. Uh, and, and the people that, uh, the, the, uh, the celebrities that come into that, um, <clears throat> just a, amazing. Uh, the, the number of people, I mean, Priscilla Presley was, was two tables down from me. I'm going, what? You know, uh, do you, do you, I see it happen a bunch at the cons where, you know, you guests get to meet at some point. I wasn't sure if it was like a, a meet and greet or if you just show up, go to your table. And if you get to meet anyone else on a whim or I was always curious because I got to yeah. see a couple interactions where right outside of our line, you know, Eddie Furlong runs out from the table because he wanted to meet someone for the first time and i'm like i th thought for sure would he put you guys in a room at least or you know the the hotel across the street the night before or something i was always curious well uh there's uh there's usually a green room uh where you can go get a coffee and a you know a snack or whatever um or just take a break and uh i, I used to be a, a cigarette smoker so you know there's you run into people in the smoking area right um, and, and, you know, you're there all day long. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of, you know, lulls during the day. You have a little off time or whatever, and somebody's within eyesight where you can turn around and, and keep an eye on your table. You can jog over and, you know, shake their hands and talk to them or whatever. And then maybe they'll come over to yours. And, uh, and, and it's, it's, it's done that way, but no, there's not like a, a table reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I saw in my head. Everybody was there, best friends, instantly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wishful thinking, I guess. Uh, if if you're cool with it, I'll give you a, a lightning round, and then uh, before we do this, I want to tell anyone. Uh, I, I saw a couple questions come over, but I can't. They're scrolling so fast, I can't see all of them. But there is a ask a question feature, and I saw a couple come through, and I'll just leave it to that. You can start throwing questions in, and then once we're done a lightning round we can start answering some questions from everyone uh, watching. So guys, you can throw them in the comments, but I think if you go to the questions section, you'll get them answered. So we'll start with that. Um, so food, movies, or uh, good vibes, which section would you like to start with? Food, movies, good vibes. Um, food. Chips Ahoy or Oreos? Um, <laughs> Chips Ahoy. Yeah. Are you a dunker? Yes. Yeah, me too. I don't care where the, what the cookie is, it's getting dunked. How about burgers or dogs? Burgers. Nice. How do you take it? How do you make your burger? Uh, just pull the horns off and wipe its ass. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, well put. Pink cool center. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you order your pizza? What's your go-to pizza? Oh, man, it depends on where I go. You know, there's, there's some places that are doing, you know, crazy stuff with balsamic vinegar, uh, places that I go to for white sauce, but uh, you know, I usually I usually get an everything pizza, you know, and 
and then uh, and, and that way, you know, everybody can. Well, you don't like it, pick it off and throw it over on my plate. So <laughs> fair enough. Uh, so movies. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh my god! Or a couple. That's a tough couple. One. Um, yeah. I'm I'm pretty much sick of all of them actually. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess my favorite. Uh, taking a couple of years off from watching It's a Wonderful Life. That's that's a nice one. Um, I like, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It was, um, <clears throat> it was about uh, the story of Mary and the, and the birth of Jesus. Okay. Um, what was the name of that? Um, I don't know, it's been Mary of Nazareth or something like that. So it was a really nice, well shot uh, movie. I need to, I need to, you know, it'd be good for any time of the year, actually. Sure. <laughs> I can't tell you the, 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 tap, the title of it. Sorry. Oops. Yeah. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? No. <laughs> Fair enough. Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Nice. You have a favorite character or anything? Uh, Obi Wan, of course, the original. Yeah. Oh, nice. How about favorite movie overall or genre? Because that can be a pretty tough question. Oh, uh, that's 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 too hard. Um, genre? That'd be easy. Um, you could call it horror, I guess. You would put it in that category, horror or scary movies or whatever. Nice. Something Wicked This Way Comes, I, I, I really liked. The Changeling, uh, I liked. Um, <clears throat> but, um, and, uh, and Westerns, I, I loved Tombstone. Oh, know? yeah. And um, so, I don't know, uh, it, you know, just my, my favorite... I could only watch one movie for the rest of my life, but I'd just be really hard pressed to come up with anything. Sure. I asked them, I just asked, favorite movie so many times, and no one has, no one has one. You know, you have to, <laughs> I have to give you five, or I have to give you the, what are you watching this week? Or is there, a, now it's like yeah. TV's movies, just as, you know, yeah. they're just as good, they're just as intense. And uh, who's your favorite childhood actor? Uh, childhood actor. Yeah, from your childhood. Oh, from my childhood. Um, a child, child actor? Or? I mean, like, like when you were younger, was there one oh, person you oh, tried oh, to watch oh. or see the movie or, or what have you? Uh, well, uh, it was usually uh, Westerns. I watched all the Westerns. I liked Haas on, a, you know, Bonanza, <laughs> of course. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, loved, I loved all of the, uh, the Western uh, <clears throat> weekly shows or whatever and and movies like, like um you know spaghetti westerns i loved you know um good the bad and the ugly of course and then I was gonna say, you, are you clint eastwood guy oh absolutely yeah yeah <clears throat> how about a favorite childhood toy or game oh man um they had these little thompson machine guns uh that were pretty realistic and you pulled the uh, the charging handle back and it locked back on a spring and when you pull the trigger it would go <laughs> and uh, I used to love to you know hose down the neighborhood with that <laughs> yeah right can't do that now no can't even I don't know if you can find a toy gun anymore what was your uh, perfect Saturday night as a kid say again perfect Saturday night as a kid oh perfect Saturday night would have been um, as a kid. Would have, it would, probably would have been involved uh, Cheetos and, and a horror movie, a scary movie. We had a, a show. Uh, I grew up in a small town near Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I am now. And uh, there was a, uh, a German man that had, it was his version of uh, uh, probably a ripoff of the Chiller Theater thing. And it was a uh, fantastic theater. But he, did, he didn't have, you know, like the classic... Uh, horror films from that time. It was always, you know, horrible stuff like Rodan. And if you've never seen Rodan, you know, it's, it's, it's right up there with Plan 9 from Outer Space. Okay, we could talk about Ed Wood all night. That's fine with me. Yeah. It, was, it was, yeah, it didn't take long to think, okay, this isn't going to be very scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, anytime you got to stay up and watch something on the weekend and, you know. Oh, yeah. What about now? What's your perfect Saturday night now? Um, Early to bed. No, uh, let's see. Uh, perfect, perfect Saturday night. 
Wow, that's a, that's that's a, that's that's crazy. Uh, probably um, uh, smoking uh, meats or whatever, and a nice nice big dinner. Uh, some uh, some really cold beer, some good bourbon, and cigars. I'm an old fucking a. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Yeah. Let's see if uh, some of these questions came over. Uh, Mark asked, "Do you still talk to Paul Rubens?" Yes. By uh, mostly by uh, text, a very short uh, to the point. Okay. You okay. Is that him yeah. or him or you? To, okay, cool. I'm just going to ask: Is it you direct to the point, or is it Paul direct to the point? Uh, both of us. Okay. Pretty much. I mean, I'll be here, here more so. He's busier <laughs> than me, though. <laughs> so so I, you know, I get. I'll just send him something like wellness check, and then I'll get a thumb. That's all you, <laughs> you need. I think I'm. I, I think I'm the guy who does that too. Yeah, I always check in with people. I mean, I, if I see a certain restaurant, I'm like, oh, I went there with someone. I'll just give them a call. Or Yeah, I'm going to start calling a wellness check from now on. Well, hey, if you're ever uh, – oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, if, you're ever, uh, if you ever see any conventions in Pennsylvania come up, uh, especially Western PA, I volunteer to be your, your personal assistant for that convention. Is, is that where we met, where you brought me? Yeah, to... so that was in Ohio. Oh, okay. um, <clears throat> but it wasn't, I think it was like less than two hours away and I had my boys and the wife was working. So I'm like, time for you guys to start learning conventions. You know, they love walking around at the time. I think they were still, the smaller one was still in a stroller. So I just kept the older one in the stroller with them to make it easier. Um, but now they're getting, they're finding things they like or everybody's big backdrops. They kind of stare at them or I'll just, we'll buy toys while we're there. So yeah, the two of us came to, it wasn't a major city. I forget the small town. It was I can, Canfield. Does that sound right? Uh, Possibly. In, uh, um, it was something Valley. Okay. So yeah, I'd never been there before no. or since, but um, the whole lineup was great. I got to meet a bunch of people that day. Yeah. Um, Tom Cook, I think, was uh, for, I think he was an animator for all the He-Man stuff. All the Master of the Universe was there. Some old wrestling guys were there. Um, some horror guys were there. It was awesome. But I, I remember you brought me a, a very professional. In fact, I thought it was legitimate. Uh, yeah. You brought me uh, one of those, but you kept the figure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I give you a card? Did I give you, like, the back I of it? Still, okay. I still have the card. Um, a lot of times I, I don't hear about these conventions till the last minute. I just know, like, my three or four big ones. Uh -huh. And now I follow, like, you know, the one I met you at. But I'll see who's coming i realize it's in a week and i try to throw something together um the goal is always to i uh, give the, the same thing i'm taking home to you guys but half the time it's how do i make two of these i can only find one of these and i'm like well i can do the card and like the print and all the graphic design that's right here i'm like well i i kept the card and i appreciated it and and uh actually i have a photograph of it uh, before you you stole the uh, the figure back, and uh, <laughs> and, and you know I look at it and go, wow, Francis, he shed a few pounds there. Uh, <laughs> you know, hold him up again, hold him up again. You got yeah, yeah. To you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's uh, that's Francis after the uh, uh, bariatric surgery. <laughs> so. Well, cool, man. Let me see. Uh, I just saw another question pop up what was it like working with jennifer aniston you got some big names you worked alongside man hey, hey everybody i worked with became huge except me um uh jennifer was you know it was her first movie um she was uh just a joy never complained very funny very witty very quick um <clears throat> i just uh, I mean, no matter how many hours she was there, no matter how cold it got, no matter what the conditions were, she was a, a trooper. And uh, <clears throat> when you start getting really tired, you know, you get kind of giddy, you know, to where <laughs> just slap you know, happy, right, right? Things yeah. make you, you know, make you, uh, you know, laugh your butt off. And, and she just had a knack for, uh, you know, just coming out with something. Uh, you know, it's like she would, she could get in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Did any of them, any of her, her antics make it to the movie? 
I know it's not a comedy, but did anything no, no, stick? But but I, I predicted that she would she would go the route of probably Saturday Night Live is what I guess at the time. But she did a lot better than that. A lot, you know, with friends and oh yeah, you know, her motion pictures. So uh <clears throat> yeah, she um that's it's not a bad start, you know, for a for a first film. Uh, you know, and unless you just, you know, you're ashamed of it, you know. <laughs> And then the cult, the cult followings that happen over the years, like things you can't predict, you know, um, especially ho horror anymore. Is, it's a guaranteed. It could be the worst movie in the world, come out tomorrow, and in 10 years there's going to be a fan club, no matter what. Oh, yeah. um, and then, um, yeah, horror especially. But even, like, things become pop culture. Like, Pee Wee's pop culture. It's not just a movie. Team of his pop culture. You know, it's like these movies take on, like, they grow legs. Um, especially, yeah, like, I feel like box dialogue. office versus... Yeah. 20 years later is unbelievable, you know. Well, uh, at, at, um, at the convention I was talking about earlier, uh, Chiller Theater, um, my booking agent knew a doctor who had a uh, uh, just a dead-on uh, ringer for uh, the bike. And we, we, got the, we got the bike to take uh, uh, professional photo ops with. And... Uh, they were very uh, protective of this this thing, and, and rightfully so. <clears throat> but there really, really wasn't anywhere to put it during the day. Keep your eye on it. You know, we didn't want to leave it up in a room or whatever, or in my uh, in my agent's uh, hotel room. So we we just kind of parked it back, you know, from the table. And people that would be in line to uh, to get an autograph from, uh, let's say, Priscilla Presley or uh, or uh, and whoever, you know, there were lines going both ways. Sure. It's right in the main lobby. So people would be waiting, and they'd, you'd see one look over, and, and they'd look at the bike, and then they'd punch somebody and go, hey, that's, that's the bike. That's the bike. And then, you know, pretty soon they'd, they'd come over. Now, they wanted a picture with, of the bike, them with the bike, and I just happened to be there. <laughs> I feel like there's I, bike guys. I, I yeah. Was the gravy. You know, I, I, I think there was a, a I, I think it was a force multiplier. Let's just leave it at that. Did you, did you spout off any lines when they were near the bike? Did you go, this is the bike? <laughs> no, no, no. You know, I, I would say, no, 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 it's, it's, it's not. But you still, please, please, you know, you can put your hands on the handlebars. No, do not throw your leg over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't ride it around the convention. They are actually a bicycle heaven is this really cool uh, place here. It's just millions of parts. Um, they have them hanging like a gallery. It's more like a museum than it is a junkyard. So you walk in and they have maybe, maybe some more valuable complete bikes right up front. There's some smaller parts to buy. And it's, it's Pittsburgh, so it's an old factory warehouse. You're going up these old stairs and it opens up into just like fenders or just wheels for an entire room. There's mirrors, there's painted walls, there's paint on the floor. And they'll showcase different bikes on like the main um, where it opens up up top to what would have been maybe the actual production floor. It's just hundreds in a how, row. How close is this place to you? Really close. Uh, well, 15 you minutes. You go in there with the camera and, and do a little feature or whatever because you've got a lot of people. Uh, there, are, there are more people now than, than I remember ever building their own um, peewee bike. And they have one there. They made Bicycle Heaven must have realized they could have put one together with all I the parts. Think I saw there yeah. Was a post. Uh, they, they have a page, right? I'm sure they do. Yeah, they have to. Uh, and it's, it's one of the few. I think there was, was it the movie Rad? There was Stranger Things, Pee Wee. There wasn't a lot. There was maybe four or five total that were like movie bikes. And there was a big write up next to it, like a, you know, a, a big description of what it is, maybe pictures of, you know, what they were trying to recreate, but I guarantee they were all about like making sure the parts were hundred percent accurate. And if they had to yeah. fashion something, they had to get a welder or whatever. But yeah. cause I thought it was the one, like one of the ones from the movie. Cause it didn't look like someone threw it together. I'm like, and then later someone said, no, that's just, they built it for the bicycle heaven. I'm like, Oh my God. So I took pictures with it thinking like movie history. I'm just sitting here with the one for the movie, but it was just a replica. Still awesome. But yeah. when you come in, and do the con and we're hanging out i'll just take you it'd be a lot easier just for you to see it in person all right but if you ever see steel city con or um that's pittsburgh that's like right in the heart of or outside of pittsburgh or uh we're going to one 
Sci-Fi Valley Con, which is Altoona, which is two hours outside of Pittsburgh. Or, um, yeah, some of those Ohio ones are, are pretty close by, too. But I'm your volunteer. I'll help you, whatever you need to do. Right, well, I, I, I'm not going to build a bike, <laughs> but, you know, maybe we could go for a beer. Who knows? Bingo. Cool. Let me see. I think another question just popped up. Uh, what was it like work, working on Easy Wheels? That was a fun biker flick. Uh, it, it was a hoot and a half. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I doubt that anybody on uh, Instagram right now has seen the film except the person that asked the question and, and myself. Uh, but but it is um, it is an '80s movie, you know, low budget, and um, it's 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 worth a uh, you know worth a, worth a shot, you know. Oh, you might. Yeah. It, it was it was a lot of fun. We had. <laughs> like, you know, 125 Hondas, you know, little bitty bikes. Oh, yeah. Rough and tough biker game, the born loser, losers. <clears throat> um, riding these things, they were constantly breaking down. I, I played this character called Animal. So, of course, my uh, headlight had a rhino horn coming off of it. Um, God, it, just, it was, um, I need to post some pictures of that. I've got some, some pics that I... Came across recently, and I thought, God, I didn't know I had these. I was I was looking up just to I had my questions I wanted to ask, but I wanted to get the questions outside of uh, what I was familiar with, so like Leprechaun. But then I came across the Ramones video, yeah, which I never knew you were in a Ramones video. Ramones are like my top five bands all time, and it took me doing last minute like Googling or IMDbing, and I had to go watch it, and it was cra I was cracking up. Well, I I don't know that um, that it, it's actually showed up on shows up on my uh, filmography. I guess I need to make sure it goes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's on IMDb. I don't know if if there's a better site on your end, but yeah, it, that's where I yeah. saw it. It was listed. I think I went. Um, you can select. I, yeah, I picked actor. Read through those, but then you can select self. So if you were uh, if someone's on Letterman, that shows up, and it said self, and then it said Ramones, and I'm like, oh, is it a like a comedy? Th what is this? And then I just looked up the name, and the official music video popped up. And there's you with what a cop, right? A cop near a jail, in front of a jail cell. Yeah, so. I was. Uh, I I didn't know. Uh, I didn't. I don't. I don't know that they ever told me that it was for the Ramones, or I don't know if I really knew who the Ramones were, or um, was that well? Hmm. Well, we have outlasted my life <laughs> ring, buddy. <laughs> We're wrapping that's up okay. anyway. Yeah, that's cool. Lighting. Help. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, it was. Um, I, I, I'm amazed when people bring that up. You know, it's just it's just become kind of like, did you know? Yeah. Um, very, very trivia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they just they just walked up and they they had an okay. I knew they had an okay to be you know in the little you know area where we were filming. I said, well, could we just like, you know, walk around you and would you, you know, make eye contact or maybe point your nightstick at the camera? And I said, sure, whatever, you know. Jeez, yeah, that's was, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, um, <clears throat> actually, I, at one of the, I guess it was Atlantic City, one of the Ramones was, uh, had a table there. Richie, maybe, I, I don't remember, uh, but uh, I never got a chance to talk to him. That's what, and we never, never know, like out here, us, uh, us, the viewers, if if Ramones are even anywhere near you guys. You know, uh, it could have very easily been they shot in January and you shot in March. You know, and I was that was one of the questions: did you, were they on set at all? But at least you got yeah. to see one of them. <laughs> this 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 was uh, th this was just a crew out getting uh, B roll. So, yeah, too cool. Well, if anyone has any more questions, throw them at me real quick here. Um, that we'll check in the questions section, which I didn't know existed till tonight, which is really cool. Um, people can actually click on question, and it's a whole separate menu with a little pop-up, so I'm not trying to read during. But, but I think that's all. The, I think we answered everybody's questions, man. So um, this was great. I really appreciate you uh, answering all those messages that I kept sending, begging, if, see if you would do it. <coughs> well... <coughs> It, I, I hope you'll shut up now and leave me alone. We'll see. I can't guarantee it. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. 
but it's, uh, you know, I, I gave up a lot. <clears throat> I'm going to go smoke a cigar and have a beer. Try to, you know, salvage what's left of my <laughs> life now. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, uh, everyone, thanks for tuning in. This has been great. I love seeing this many people coming and watching. Um, and be sure to go over to Spotify. Um, this will be on probably Friday afternoon. Just the audio for those people who just listen in the car or at work. Um, and Mark, thanks again. Oh, you're, you're most welcome. And thank you very much for having me. Appreciate cool. it. All right, guys. See you next time.